All right, time to paint. Time to paint. We are gonna shoot this with some heirloom white satin. I don't know if you can see that or not, but for a reason. You never know how long these cans have been sitting on the Home Depot shelf. So uh, give it a good, uh, give it a good shaking. While we're doing that, we'll take uh, some microfiber towel here and we'll just kind of go over really quick to make sure good to go. Nothing crazy on there I need to, I missed. You notice if uh, the table snags the carpet, the carpet fiber towel, towel at any point, then obviously uh, it's not smooth. a couple little spots that I could have got a little better but I think it's going to actually work into my favor for being aged. It's going to give it a little more character here and there, a little more you know, a ding here, a ding there. So it doesn't bother me. I think we're good. I got no snags on the cloth. All right, no snags. I'm a, we're good. All right, give us a couple good ones here. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, do light, light, light. Probably about two cans worth. So uh, here we go. I don't think you can see me on this side, but I always like to start. I don't know something about it. I like starting in this direction. Don't worry so much about getting every little detail. We're gonna uh, we're gonna come back around. And when we come back around, we're actually gonna go the opposite direction. So it's gonna be in your way. So we hit the uh, shadows we miss on this direction. This color looks pretty light, but we're going to be tinting it when we uh, stain it. Stain it? Yes, we're going to be staining the table after it's painted. You see some killer stuff. Little piece trays take a lot of going back and forth, but don't make it run. Do not make it run.
Now, depending on what you're doing, you might want to spend more time in here, but me, I don't. So it's all good for me. These little suckers, these are suckers are hard to get. Number two. Dang, I might need another can too. It's okay, I got one more. I got three. Thought I was gonna take two. I don't remember from last year when I painted them. So I was painting uh, those old, I was painting what, four, I think, at the same time last year. So I just bought a whole bunch of paint. I don't know exactly what it took. The bowl goes well. This will dry shortly. And then we'll sand it. And then we'll do another coat on it today. So hopefully we can do all the painting in one day. And then we'll let it dry overnight, sand it tomorrow. And then we'll do this, the stain. Well, that's not true. Actually, I got, there's, a, there's a spot I got to paint red on here. There's a little, little taping we got to do. Do something pretty cool. All right. All right, go to Now when we do our second coat, we're not going to be drenching it, you know, we're not going to be putting a lot of paint on, so it's just going to be misting it pretty much. Getting all these nooks and crannies a little uh, tedious, especially when you're trying not to make it run.
The only thing runs do is uh, progress setbacks. Then you gotta wait even super long for it to dry. You can sand it all off. Alright, that looks okay. Now some of this I don't mind if it's a little not complete because I know there's gonna be a staining process that goes on after which will uh, absorb some of it. Phew, it's hot in here, which is good, which is good. Look at this dry in. Yeah, we're going to need that third can of paint. We're going to need it. I don't like using the whole can. There's like a little bit left in this one, a little bit left, because what happens is it starts to spray, like splurt out, and you'll get like little paint dots. And you don't want that. So, Julian, you know, you can feel a little bit of paint left, and usually when I quit using it. All right, I'm gonna go get my third can. Go get my third can.
Man, I almost panicked. I almost panicked. I couldn't find it. It's in my back seat. All right. All right, so it's going to take three cans to paint this bad boy. Because like I said, this is just going to have a little bit left over there to do. And then um, we'll be uh, letting it dry for coat two. And coat two isn't, isn't as uh, crazy as coat one. Oh, it's too hot to shake this goddamn pan though. So unfortunately, I still have to go back and mod my other tables for this. So I have the, uh, oh, I didn't tell you what that was for. Gonna find out. Gonna find out. That's right, I didn't say it. You know what I'm to go mod the uh, other tables for that. So that's no big deal. I think I pretty much got everything. This is just good. Whatever I don't get now, I'll get in a minute. Mm -hmm. Gotta hit these angles. Some of these you gotta hit every single angle possible. Just because, uh, hold up.
All right, that takes care of painting number one. We'll see you in a little bit when it's uh, dry, so I can sand it. All right, later. All right, here we are, the paint is dry. I've already gone through with 400 grit, and you sand the whole table. Um, I've already did it because it's, it's pretty tedious, but uh, basically, lightly, lightly over the paint. You know, we're not trying to sand off, uh, you know, I'm not trying to sand it off. That's why I was saying, hope we don't have any runs. You just, just make sure it's all nice and smooth. Unfortunately, you're gonna get to all the nick and crannies, you know, just to make sure that, you know, when you feel it, smooth. And then from here on, this now after this is done, what we'll do is uh, get your microfiber cloth. We'll go through and wipe the whole board down, and then we'll just touch spray. We don't have to spray the whole thing. Uh, just kind of anywhere that you sanded too much, uh, anywhere that you missed the first time. Uh, because, you know, you miss a lot of places the first time because you don't want to make it run, like getting into these cavities. You can only spray so much paint. Uh, you, know, you know, until you got to sit back and wait and catch it the next time. You can't, you know, fill them, right? Okay, so, pretty much it. I mean, it's going to take you some time to do this. I think I probably spent about a half hour on it before I turn the camera on. So I'm just kind of going over it again just so I can show you basically what you do. What's, you know, obviously the more intricate stuff you have, uh, the longer it's going to take you. you clean up all the edges, you know, you, so when you put your fingers on here, you're sliding back, back and forth. You don't feel, you feel, you feel nothing. Because anything you feel, obviously it's going to show up when we're done. This will be the last coat of paint. Then what we'll do is go over it again with some sandpaper. But we're going to double the grit, probably go to 800 or so. Um, I don't have a particular grit in mind, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, 800, 1000, whatever. Just whatever I have laying around. But definitely a higher grade than what we're using now. Alright, well, I think that's good enough because I have already did it for a while. Let's get the cloth here. Like I said, we're not going to drench the whole table. There's no reason to paint the entire thing. We're just going to kind of spot paint it. I like to do this. Um, now, if this was fully dry, I would use uh, an air hose, but uh, it's still a little bit tacky here and there. And I don't want to shoot shit and have it get into the pools of paint, you know, especially that are deep in there. I don't want those to get full of stuff in there. So this is okay. But if you were, like I said, if you let this dry overnight or something, yeah, yeah, I would just, I would just sand it and tear it off. I had to do a quick, a uh, couple of quick things too. I forgot to putty these, so those are puttied now. And I forgot to add in that other block, so those are, those are in. So I did a few things before this next paint phase. Okay, all right, cool. That's it, let's do the one last round of paint, baby. All in all, I think it was uh, two cans of primer. 
And it's going to be a three coats of three cans of paint. Like I said, there's no reason to drench the whole table again. You could if you wanted to, I guess. No point. Remember, uh, I'm also, I'm aging this table, um, so I don't have to be as perfect as you would be if I was, like, say, doing some cabinets or something, or a piece of furniture. This, I want this to look, when I'm done, to look all old, and this and that, so um, I definitely wouldn't be using a rattle can on cabinets, <clears throat> but... Like I said, I want, at the beginning of this series, I wanted to make sure that you can do this at home with no crazy stuff. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Got some stuff this way, but I need to get it from that side. Um, These little cubbies, man. These little cubbies are pain in the ass. Bowed out. I don't feel like opening another can because I did look. I do got, actually I do got two more cans, but I don't feel like getting them out. Okay, I think I think I'm happy. I'm just, it's almost to the point I don't want to spray anymore out of this can. It's almost out. I think, like I said, I don't like going all the way to the end because then, like, it, you get little. Batter. Just depends where I'm. Like I don't, if I got spatter here, it wouldn't bother me. I don't want spatter on the top. I do want that hinge a little better though. So next uh, will be uh, staining. Staining the paint. Actually, that's not true. I gotta paint the red next. God damn it, forgot. All right. So I guess I'll see you guys next for uh, the red part. And you're like, what red part? You'll see, just a little tiny bit, little tiny bit. All right, we'll see you soon for uh, the red part. All right, so the white is done, and now it's time for the red. And there is a little section of red I want to do. You're going to use 
frog tape. You're going to use the yellow because it is freshly painted. What we want to do, you may not want this, but in the BBR, we have what is called victory points. And you have, axes have to have so many points at the end of round eight, otherwise they forfeit the game. So with that said, um, I like to have a little tracker for that, kind of like a progress bar. So what we'll do is spray a red line right there, and then obviously when it's full, and then the axes have acquired their points. This is a little uh, tedious. I want, I want the red just to be on the bottom section, not the sides. Very meticulous here. Oh yeah, this sucks. This sucks. Okay, uh, I forgot how I did this last time. All right. Get it in every little nook and cranny because if you mess up, it's going to be painted in the wrong spot. You don't want overspray on the white. You don't want to have any part you wanted red covered up. In fact, I said most of you probably won't need to worry about this part. So it doesn't really matter. This matters to me. I think that looks good for this side. Now I want to I want to go down nine inches for me because that'll hold twelve uh, rounds. So what's going to happen next is uh, after we do the painting here. There is, um, I'm still, if we're not done, we have to put the numbers on and uh, we have to put the leather on. And there's still a, quite a bit left to do after this painting phase. But fortunately, the painting phase is what sucks the, the most and that is going to be over with. It's gonna get fun here on out. Make sure this is square, I don't wanna have a, Line that straight. And you can try to use blue tape, but I guarantee you probably won't be happy. You gotta spend the extra money and get this frog tape. Okay, I think that looks good. We grab a little bit of paper so we can uh, mask off a little bit. Of course, I didn't think of, I didn't plan this ahead. I don't have any handy, so uh, stand by. Ah, forget it. I'll just uh, we'll just shoot. We'll just shoot easy. It's no big deal. shoot the wrong way so I think we're okay I know G.I. Joe has been waiting for this because he wants to know what color this is I know he's been waiting he's been waiting so uh, I'll have to show you what color this is it is a red but it is not red Remember, every color I pick on here too is gonna to look different 
on your table if you do not do the staining process. I pick these colors that I pick because after it stained, it is the color I want them to be. This, this white is not the color I want the table to be. I want that after color. Same thing with this red I pick. It's not the color I want. It's, uh, it's the color it's gonna be after this is done. And that is We are using satin paprika. As you can see it's kind of a little darker red. This is the same this is the same color I used on my Japan battle boxes for the uh, Rising Sun. And that's why G.I. Joe's been wanting to know this color. If he's working on some boxes. Alright, should be good. I haven't used this color in a long time, so we're gonna give it a little extra. Now before I prep this, um, before I turn the camera on, I actually went around and sanded the table again with uh, 400 again, just really quick. Um, but before we do the stain, I'll, I'll, I'll do some close-ups of the sanded paint so you can kind of see what you're looking to achieve. All right, well, we're just going to dust this. You know what, I should probably get a shield too, just in case. Just in case. Let me grab something small here. What do I got? What do I got? Perfect. Perfect, let's grab a piece of sandpaper. Okay. Here we go. And that, my friends, is all I want. Now, I don't like tape on my freshly painted stuff. So I generally pull this pretty quick. We'll just let it sit here just for a minute, and then we're gonna pull this. So this is gonna be pretty wicked. And when, uh, unfortunately, I gotta let this dry for a little bit before I come back and do the, uh, the stain, but we are gonna do the stain today. This red won't take long to dry. I want to pull this now because I want to make sure I don't have any overspray on my table because if I do, I can get it immediately off right now with no consequences. It looks like I have a little bit right there, so let's go ahead and get that off. So I grab now just a little bit of a uh, paint thinner. Just gonna dab on this rag. And I take that red off really quick. That's the thing about taking this off immediately. As you can see these errors before uh, they become a problem. That's no big deal.
All right, she's almost good. Mm -hmm. I actually might need more. No, this part's still wet. Okay. It is hot in here though. Alright, looks like it's starting to dry. Good to go. Oh, it looks like I got a little more on my edge there I gotta get off. Damn, lid stuck. Right. So, uh, yeah, so be more careful than I was on your taping. You don't have to worry about that. like that's uh, good to go we'll let that dry and then we'll be back for uh, the dip so we should have uh, some pretty good fun pretty soon all right bye bye all right it's time to stain we are going to use poly shades can you see that hold on a second what's going on here where are we at we're going to use poly shades honey okay now this is the same stuff i use on my pieces this is this this is a technique I developed on doing cabinets. And you'll see a lot of people doing their pieces in this now. Why? Because it's freaking awesome. Now you want to get some gloves. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab some, so we're gonna do this tweaker style. Alright, this is imagine I'm a tweaker. We we forgot to get gloves. Now, you're gonna need to wipe on, you're gonna need to wipe off. You're gonna need multiple towels because you're gonna go through them. What you don't wanna do is put this on the whole table and think you're gonna go back later and take it off. It's not gonna work that way. Okay, you gotta put it on a little bit, take it off. Put it on a little bit, take it off. Uh, this might, this process might take uh, up to uh, half hour or so. So if the camera runs out, um, we'll just have to uh, show you afterwards. Cause I, my hand, my stuff's gonna be all full. I'm not gonna be going back to my camera pushing buttons. All right, here we go. Basically, put it on. And take it off. You wanna make sure you get to every nook and cranny. It was a camera you can't really see this part but you'll you'll see uh you'll see when i can get over here i'll do that part next now this table hasn't been drying very long it was just painted uh yesterday so I don't need like a grip of time. And this, uh, here where Joe lives, apparently he paints stuff on Saturday and it's still wet the next Saturday. <clears throat> if you don't have any gloves, don't worry about it. It comes, it doesn't stick to your hands too well. It's, it, it comes off. It's not that, it's not that bad, honestly. see 
the, the color shift. Tedious with this tracker though. Very tedious. So I have to go through a lot of towels. I'm just trying to get them all cleaned back out. This is why also you can't put a lot on the table at one time because you might get stuck trying to get it off and the next thing you know it's already starting to dry on your part of the board and then you just realize that you uh, really screwed the project up because it'll be all tacky and it's not going to come off very well. So I had a project a long time ago now, it's been years now, and uh, my client wanted the cabinets to be all aged and everything. And I know, you know, you watch cabinet videos, they'll, 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 they, they spell special glazes for it and everything. And, um, you know, I'm always thinking of, you know, past things in my life that have happened that, you know, I recall this, that, you know, thing. Anyway, so I put two and two together and I'm like, you know what? I think if I use stain on paint, I'll get an awesome age look. So I tried it, and luckily the client loved it because it would have been a very expensive mistake to uh, to do that. And now this technique has been used many, many, many times over. Uh, I've shared this technique with other people. There you go. Like I said, there is actual products for this, but I'm not that kind of person. I like to do my own thing. What works for me. I'm not very talkative, man. I gotta concentrate. Okay. Starting to tack up. I can get this off. No panic. What you wanna make sure you don't do is leave the pattern from the um, cloth anywhere on the on the finish. I think this section is good. All right, let me go over here so we can, we can check it out a little better. So basically, just dump it in there, man. Don't be shy. And we just painted this red like 15 minutes ago, but. I think, think we'll be okay. But just in case, uh, we'll do over here first. So anyway, so after learning this on cabinets, uh, decided I'm gonna age my pieces. So I'm like, well, why the hell not? Let's see how this works on the plastic pieces. And uh, there you have it. Now we have aged Axis and Allies pieces. You got uh, some cool convoy markers to show you guys. I did them last week. I made a video last week and never uploaded it. Also got some of the um, the plastic money came in, so I can do. I uh, got a. I've actually did that video already, but I haven't uploaded it. Been super busy, super busy with this event. Still got to make all the victory rambles 
Um, I've got them printed, so I just gotta get them all made. All right, it's taking too long. I gotta get this off. Let's do. Uh, let's get this compartment here. Just squish it in the corner so you don't have any any white when you're done. Oh, I was going to show you a close-up of the Santa paint. Forgot. So, uh, never mind on that. Never mind. Basically, just, it needs to be smooth. It needs to be smooth. If you feel anything, it's going to come up on the, on the finish. Um, you'll notice, you know, dull spots in the paint and everything like that, or in shiny spots, and that's because you basically start to buff the paint. Same thing when you're at the priming stage. The primer will actually get shiny in some spots as you're doing this, so it's, it's okay. Alright, I think we can move on now for a second. Get this over done. This thing's so hot, it starts to tack up pretty quick. I can't wait to show you what this is for. Can't wait. It's so wicked that mod was so wicked. So not going back and modding other tables, all I can do is cut that out, do a quick spray, and then put the, the stuff on. It's no, it won't be no big a deal to uh, do the mods. I have no idea if you're even going to hear me talk because I might be fast forwarding right now. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think this camera too only films uh, at a half hour and then auto, auto shuts off. I don't know why. So uh, it's probably going to take longer than half an hour. So I doubt you're going to be here for the finale. About to come back. Alright. We're getting there. Got a little held up over here, but I think we're getting there. I think this rag's about had it though. Let's, uh, let's trash that one. So the event, three more weeks. Can't believe it, three more weeks. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's gonna be so good seeing everybody again. Can't wait. All right, now let's do the red part. Hopefully we're, uh, we're good to go. What I mean by hopefully we're good to go is I don't want this to accidentally take my paint off. So we'll do it pretty quick. Near my paint, god damn it. Alright. This is gonna take Cracker Jack fixing. Alright. I was afraid it might smear my paint. Alright. Just uh, we gotta get this fixed quick, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Good, it's coming off. 
There we go. We saved the day. We saved the day. Yeah, I had a red trail going that way. All right, we saved the day. Moving on.
see myself? I can't see myself here.
All right, I think that's it. I do got to come back later and just do a little more on that red, but I can't do right now because the red was too fresh and I want to smear. So later I'll just dab a little bit more and glide it on there. But that's no big deal considering I got to fix my other tables anyway. So to add this section here, so uh, no problem. No problem. Now just go around slowly and you got to check everything. Make sure there's no, you know, you don't see a, a print pattern from the rag. Uh, make sure you didn't forget to, no big gulp anywhere. Uh, this, how it looks now, is how it'll look in the end. So if you don't, if you find something you don't like, uh, you need to fix it. You know, did you forget a little tiny edge? Did you, uh, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? that my friends let me get the camera here all right so it's gonna be a little difficult because uh, I'm gonna hold this not by the camera but this stupid stand let me pack this stand up all right I don't know what you're looking at but we'll... don't know what you're looking at okay here we go oh, almost Let's, uh, let's take it down. All right. So now we can see what we were doing here. So basically, you know, we just added that, that, that stain, not only tinted the wood, but also made nice lines and everything, you know, nice kind of dirty look, you know, not filthy, like gross, but like legit you know this is uh this this table's been around for a while this table's seen some battles this table is uh you know there's been some some great moments on this table that's what it's that's what this table is telling you it's telling you this table has seen it yep so we'll just add a little bit more here in this section uh, kind of got faded a little bit, but that, that's okay. I'll just put more stain in there and the stain will kind of be like this edge Darker here. We'll kind of do the same thing and that do the same thing there and that'll blend that in so it's no big deal um, Also, if you go through later and you find any spots that you missed like a little corner that didn't get the stain All the way just use a paintbrush and you can just dab it. There's a reason to shove the whole rag in there again Woo, all right, well, hey, uh, so next as we gotta do all the um, lettering and numbering, and uh, there's still more to do, there's still more to do, but the hard part, my friends, is over. The, the hump, the hump is over. Now it's all downhill from here, and the fun stuff begins. I mean, the build is over. The, the pain, painful painting process is over. And now the fun, the fun will begin. But this will start to take shape. You know, the cup holders will go in. The, uh, like I said, you know, get the money in here, get the dice on here, get the, get the thing that's going right there on there. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. All right, well, hey, uh, we will put numbers on probably Saturday. It's Thursday now, but you probably won't see this video until Saturday anyways. So I think we're good to go. All right, guys, take care and thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.